what's up and today I'm going to be having a basic batch file scripting tutorial and we'll cover some basic commands and of course how to create a batch file and that's what we're going to start off with so a batch file is basically a bunch of a list of commands that are executed in order that are basically based off of this thing and this is the windows command prompt and before the GUIs came out, which is GUI, Graphical User Interface, um, which is all this fancy stuff with Windows and stuff, your computing experience was basically a bunch of this stuff and, you know, typing in things and then getting things. So, um, so how you're going to create a batch file is you're going to right click, go to New, and New Text Document. Now you're going to open the text document, go to File, save as and then we're going to call this tutorial and then um, what makes this work is at the end of whatever you name it you have to put the extension dot bat so just type in whatever you want to name it here and then dot bat so if we close the text document we now have this and we can now delete the text document Alright, so now you're going to right click on the batch file, click edit. So the first thing you always want to remember when you're creating batch files is to type at echo and then space off. What that does is it turns echo off and quite simply I'll show you what it does. Echo off. So now instead of displaying this here, and I'll zoom in here for you. Instead of displaying this, it uh, displays a blank thing, so if I uh, clear this here, it just displays this, so that's basically what that does. So now that we have Echo turned off, we're going to do a basic hello world type application first here. So um, echo period is the second command that we're going to learn and echo basically displays text on the screen and the period um, at the end of that with no spaces displays a blank line so now we're going to press enter again and we're going to do one more blank line and then we're going to do echo again but we're going to press space after that and we're going to say hello world now you don't need any quotes around this at all this command does not need that so now if we save and then open this up, it just flashes through. So what you need now is to do pause. So now we're going to do pause and then a greater than sign and then NUL. So pause space greater than null. Now what the greater than null thing does is if you normally type in pause, it says press any key to continue. If you do pause and then null, it just displays nothing and you can continue. So now we're going to save our program and open it up. And it says hello world. Alright, so now let's move to the next command, which is the start command. So the start command starts different programs or batch files or pictures or whatever. So, let's say we want to start Firefox. And to start a program an executable program, which is basically any normal program, you need to have the actual name of the program, which you might be saying, okay, Firefox. You just type in Mozilla Firefox. But really, if we go here, which is in my program files, and in the Mozilla Firefox, we can hear, we can see here that Firefox is really Firefox.exe. So when we start a program, we need to go start and then firefox.exe, we need to have the whole program name. <coughs> so, um, yes, and if you want to um, start a, a specific website, you can just do space and then whatever, so we're going to do www.google.com. Alright, so now we can save that, and I just do control S, and we can start this, and when we press any key, it closes and Firefox opens up at google.com so now you know some basic commands 
But one more that you might be wondering is how do you clear the screen? For example, I will demonstrate to you here, if you type in help, you display this, you get this whole long list of things, and say you want to delete all that. All you have to do is type in CLS and press enter. So here, we're going to go after this, we're going to go echo, hi, and then we're going to go pause, and then null. Alright, so if we want hello world and hi to be right under each other, like this, we can do that. But if we want them to, you know, be on their own thing, we're going to press enter and then CLS and that will clear the screen for us so when we press any key to continue high pops up so that has been my video one of basic batch file scripting now you can watch my second video on this which is well not so basic batch file scripting which covers a little more in depth some more commands so thank you for watching and remember please rate comment and subscribe